Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. So who's excited about the new Frozen 2 movie? Well, in preparation of that, we're going to be drawing Elsa. So it's going to look just like this. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, a black pen, and your choice of something to colour it in. So I've been using some colouring pencils, a nice range of some peachy skin colours, um, some yellows, browns, blues and some pinks and remember if you like to draw animals don't forget to download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping which you'll find just here. So let's get started on Elsa. We're going to start off with a circle in the middle of the page. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, just a rough circle lightly in pencil. Now in the middle of the circle we're going to be drawing a horizontal curved line and then we're going to follow that with a vertical curved line. This is going to show the direction of the face. Now in parallel to the horizontal curved line we do one just slightly higher. It's going to show us where the top of the eyes are going to be. Now a little dip for the eye and then the cheek bow bring it all the way around following the line of the circle and just coming a little bit below the circle to draw the chin. Now we're going to split the left kind of hemisphere into three parts. It's going to show us where the eye is going to be. Now measuring from the middle to the top we're going to measure that again and that's going to show us where the top of the hair is going to go. Now remember Elsa's got humongous hair, so um, we're just going to block out where the hair is going to fall and then put in the ear just around here, just block that in and then the back of the plait, so that's the back and then the neck and then the top part of her dress is just going to come behind her neck it's quite a high collar. Bring it down. And then the bottom part of the plait. So just block it all in and then a bit of her shoulder peeping through. Now we're going to add her nose. Put a little nostril in. And then just a pouty mouth. We're going to do this in more detail soon. Define the lips now and just define the nose a little bit better with the nostril. Now for Elsa's ginormous eyes, so they really are huge. Um, so just drawing the eyeball and then the top lid and then the iris and a large pupil. Now the other one is going to be the same height using the markers that we drew out before. Remember to do the eyelid as well. Large iris again, and the big pupil. Put in the eyelid. Now for the eyebrows, just slightly above the eyes. Now we're just going to block in the hair with a bit more definition. So she's got this little fringe part that comes out the front. And then we'll just draw the rest of her hair going upwards. Now 
just block this all in. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to come back and go over it in pen. Make sure you block in the inner part of the ear. And now it comes to doing the plait or the braid. So just do one line going down, another one coming round, another line coming down, and then another one coming round. And just carry that on. Now we're going to go over the pencil markings in pen. We're going to add a little bit more detail, for example, with the hair, just adding some um, more locks of hair. And also I'm going to add a few more eyelashes just to make the eyes really, really stand out. Now I've erased all the pencil markings and now I'm going over the whole entire drawing apart from the whites of the eyes in flesh pink and then now in a straw yellow, just the hair. So I'm going to cover all the hair and then now a little bit darker I'm using um, a raw sienna and also I'll be using a Naples yellow. So just keep on building and building and now with the brown. So I'm just getting progressively darker. adding a lot of shadow behind the ears and down the braid and also in the eye sockets and just below the nose and the chin carry on using the brown give her a bit of blush with some pink and also the blues are in the irises and also in her clothing I'm actually using a lilac there as well so I'm just progressively making it darker and darker, so I'm just building up on colour. Afterwards now I'm burnishing it with the flesh pink. So I'm just going over quite heavy handedly with this flesh pink and there we have our finished drawing. So if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you, bye!